Hello guys, Skyfan here, and it's Ty, and, and, well, you know what time it is. Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Going to my, turn this down, it's a bit loud, cause I'm in, cause it's like, three, like, seven in the morning. I know that might not sound very, oh actually they don't have to. That might not sound very, uh, very long to some of you, not very early to some of you older viewers. But to me it kind of is, especially with a family of six around us. So, yeah. Now, up. Now we just gotta go. Now, you may be wondering why we're back in, uh, the Kakari Forest. Two reasons, actually. One, now that I've gotten the, uh, Zelda, now that I've gotten Zelda's, uh, um, Zelda's lullaby, I can now, I can now go through the Lost Woods and get Sarah's song. Yep, see, there's, there he is. Oh, shut up. Okay. Pretty much he just pretty much he just made a long explanation about uh the if the music gets louder then you're going in the right in the right direction. But I already know the path, so you saw me do it without the Music before. Hey, what do you want now? What do you want, Navi? Nope. Okay, now we just gotta go through here, and I hate the way the camera is positioned. I mean, it helps to. It does help to see a little bit, but not that much. Well, let's go ask her. And now you see that fairy, that's that's Sarah's fairy. Now if you wonder where that why that little palette's there, I'm gonna spoil it a little bit, so cover your ears for like five seconds if you don't want to spoiled. It that's that's where the for, the first forest temple is. Well, more like the first uh, adult temple is. Okay, so I'm just gonna. She's gonna. She she's just gonna teach me a song that helps me talk with her. But it's also gonna help in another way sometime in the future. Yeah. Now, if you haven't, if you don't recognize.
realize that song, then you have not been listening to the music this entire time. <sighs> so yeah, now. Now that we've gotten this. Bum 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 ba 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 Now that I've gotten Sarah's song, I can go back this way. And funny enough, I will be taking the actual path backwards because if you saw that little over arch of uh, of a uh, rock at one point in there, then uh, if you saw that, then you then uh, you might wondering what. The fudge? Well, I, well, it's actually a a passage, a uh, secret passage way to our next area. Ah, shut up! I don't want to talk to you. I'm serious. What? How do they learn these? How do they make up these songs? No, I do not want to hear what you said again. It's bad enough hearing it once. Plus subscribe. Don't no care. Uh. Excuse me? Funny enough, I stayed up all night last night. Which is this way? Dang! Oh, right. Uh, this this here is the little stone arch that I was talking about. Funny enough, this is this kind of, this place is kind of like a little hub for everything. Now if I can just get it right. There are some bombs behind here, but it's really but it should be easy to gl to glitch through. Oh hi Phoebe, to glitch through these rocks. Yeah, that's what. Yeah, that, that's right. That's what I said. Glitch through the rocks. And never mind. Bum bum bum. Now, uh, now that we've gotten, uh, now that we've gotten, uh, Sarah's song, there's only one last song I, there are only two l more songs I have to get before I get, before we head to Death Mountain. But real quick, I want to show you this, guys this. This. Pretty much you just have to hit it a couple of times with your uh, slingshot. And boom, dead. Literally. Literally. Boom. Now if you wanna do if you're if you're doing what I'm doing, you might you're gonna wanna head over to Lon Lon Ranch. That's that building over there in the distance. Right over there. Now funny enough, we're gonna be getting our horse from there. And yes, we do get a horse. That's been it's been that way in every 3D Zelda game. Oh, well, since it's night and I can't stop it from being night, I'm gonna show you guys the skeletons. If you kill enough of them and fast enough, this giant one will come and it, and it drops like a, I think a 20, I think.
Yeah, and you have to kill him fast if you want to get the big one because night will end pretty quickly. I think I got him. Nope. Regular sized. This is also a pretty good way to get rupees. See if I can get, if we can at least come up. Oh, darn. Well, it's day now, so I'm gonna go in here and see. And see if I can get that song. It's not that hard. Well, it is kind of hard to get her to notice her ocarina so she can teach his freaking song. Okay, to get, uh, to get this song. You want to go up to in here, then you'll s and you'll see some horses running around and blah blah blah. There, then there in the middle you'll see Ma Malin doing her little her little song, and then this little foal over here just sitting there. Now you should you should you need to talk to her first. I didn't figure that out for a long time when I first played the game and I'm kind of so I'm kind of an idiot oh wait I already knew that hmm. Oh, there we go. Got it. Oh, cute ocarina. Oh. It's kind of funny. Okay. Boom, boom, boom. Song. Yay! Yay! We did it! You guys are buying this derpy voice, right? Oh, I love you too, Apona. I'm going to ride you someday now. Run! Do, do, do. Do do do, ba da da na na, ma ma Okay, now next thing we're gonna be go next thing we're gonna be doing is going to the village at the food at the foot of Death Mountain. Uh, you will learn the name of that village pretty soon once we get there. Yeah. When we get there. Seriously, Nintendo, would you, do you have to make the world the road so long? And the Howell Field so big. Or at least, can you not make time so short? So short. But well, this is an this is a Nintendo title. This is a 64 title. So, what well, what should I expect? Kakariko Village. Village. Bam bam bam. Did I buy the shield? Yes, I did.
funny enough, we're gonna need. Funny enough, we're gonna need this shield. Oh, wait. I think everybody already knew that. Dang it, I spoke with those sparks. No, I didn't. Uh, so, next thing you, you're gonna wanna do uh, is go into here. Now, funny enough, do you see that little corner over there? Yeah. This is the entrance to the place where you need to go. The graveyard. Now, no grave robin today, but so, but so well, actually, yes, grave robin today. If you call stealing a song, if you call playing a song out of a grave, grave robin, then then yes. Otherwise, no. Okay. Now, what? No. Every time you see this Triforce here, you're probably gonna want, uh, uh, on the ground, you're probably gonna want to stand on top of it and play, and play Zelda, Zelda's Lullaby. Crap. There you go. I've conjured up a storm. Or at least lightning. And boom! Oh, that was a bit early, but eh, whatever. No, it might be a bit hard to see in this place that we're about to go because it's gonna be underground and this TV is sucky. Once you, because once you've gotten them all, you, because once you've gotten a bunch of them, you think you've gotten them all. But no, when you come over here, there's another one. Now this is a grave, so guess what's in the next room? They're not dead, but they're not alive either. No, it's much more. No, it's just much easier to just go through the, the acid, uh, in short bursts than, uh, than uh, be constantly stopped by uh, by uh, stuff. Bada bum, bum bum bum, bum bum bum. If you're wondering why I'm so why I'm so good at the songs once I actually get the song once I actually start the song, it's because I've played this game like ten times. Sun song. I can't why they can't don't get why they can't call it the dip what uh, yeah, whatever. Don't care. Now, there's another thing you can do with this sun song other than changing night to day and day to night. See all these zombie looking things? You know how they're trying to kill me? Yeah. If you use this, wait for it. Frozen zombies. They're delicious! Don't quote me on that. Now, now that we've gotten the song song, again, one last thing. I have to get uh, the first bottle. There we go. Now 
it's daytime. Now, f for now, the only thing that's, the only place that's raining is the graveyard. So don't worry about it. Now for her, you've got you get the bottle from her, and you've got to bring her cuckoos back. Yeah, you heard right, cuckoos. They're basically chickens. I don't know why they couldn't just say chickens. Now, actually, for you're gonna need. There's actually one that you shouldn't throw out yet. Oh, right. Oh, there's one. Oh, right. Wait. This is another one. Okay. Here is the first cuckoo. Now, once you... Yeah, there. Uh, you get onto them. And no, you grab onto them. Make maybe kind of hard at first, but that's how it's done. And then you and you can throw this one away. Not like throw it away, like throw it out over the edge. And then you bring and bring that over there. And you gotta go get that cuckoo that you dropped. And pick it up again, because you're going to need it to fly again. Man, look at all the feathers this guy's losing. I'm surprised he hasn't, I'm surprised he hasn't uh, gone completely bald yet. Now, you want to take this guy. You want to fly him over like that, so, so you get him right there. Now you can throw this guy over the edge, because you don't need him anymore. I don't need you. Funny enough, funny enough, you really don't need him. Now you take this guy and throw him over the edge. And now uh, there's one more in this area. You have to climb up this ladder. When you climb up this ladder, you go, you pick up this chicken. And I wonder if you can fly all the way from here all to the uh, to the cuckoo pen. Never tried it before. Let me try. Oh, close enough. Whatever. Doesn't matter. I'll throw him in there. You know what I'm surprised about? When you when you throw the chickens, they don't fly. What if I throw them in a, uh, toward a toward lava or over or over a really really steep edge? That would make them die. Are they gonna fly then? Probably not. I mean, I they'd think they'd fly. So guys, I am. Um, Yay! Wait. Other, other two. Okay, where are the other two? I'm trying to go back through my memory to remember where. Oh right, I know where one went. Actually, I know where the last two are. There's one right up here, and then there's one over on that ledge up there. And by that ledge, I mean that ledge over there. That one. Up there. Now you just gotta take this yarn, bring it over to the cuckoo pen. Now this last one is just right up there or over on top of there. It was a bit repetitive, but whatever. Who cares? Whatever, whatever. Who cares? Now, where, where are you, you chicken fudge? You chicken. I'll take you and jump. I can't. I can't.
can't take it anymore. Okay, and since this is the last cuckoo, we are going to get the bottle from her. Yay, thank you for finding my cuckoos. I, I have allergies, so I get goosebumps when I touch them. Goosebumps? Seriously? You mean those things you get when you're cold? Or scared? Uh, whatever. Empty bottle. No, there are four bottles throughout the game. I usually only end up getting three. And yes, it is beneficial to have more than more than one bottle if you're if that if you're being skeptical. Cause what if you need uh what if you need uh, a uh, health potion and a magic potion, but you don't wanna but you don't but you don't wanna waste the magic po potion when when you've got not when you don't have enough health but you've got an entire magic potion. Oh crap, I just gave away that we got magic, whatever. This is Sky Fan, he is under my orders to save Hyrule. <laughs> what kind of funny game has our princess come up with now? Okay, okay, alright, you can go now. Just be careful, Mr. Hero. Proper shield? Oh yeah. I do have a proper shield. I already did. No, I don't expect you to just just because of the great tip I just gave you, I'm just asking. Have you been to the Happy Mask Shop? No. no sh oh, right. Yeah, that's an that's an entirely different side quest. Now. Boop. 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 Now, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go get into. I'm gonna go. Um. Not how long has it been? I'm gonna go get up Death Mountain and get into Goron City and then I'm gonna stop. Okay? Sound good? Good. Okay. Cause that's what you get. Okay, you know what, I can't figure out anything else to say in this, so I'm just going to tell, tell a couple jokes. So I'm walking down the hall and a friend stops me, and he knows I'm good with, like, chemistry and, uh, physics and crap. And he said, and, uh, and I say, and he says, tell a potassium joke. No, no, he says, tell me a sodium joke. I say, nah. I say, he says, okay, tell me, tell me a potassium joke. Okay. Eh? Okay, you probably don't know that one. Uh, and it, and then I say, but how often do I make jokes about chemistry? Mm, periodically. Okay, seriously, if that didn't make you laugh, then uh, then I don't know what you're doing with your life. No. Where is that? Oh, it's not. 
I still only need to open. Okay. Well. Uh, well, I'm gonna save here and get back to you guys later. Bye.